In this clip, we are going to make a name tag with the micro bit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start out in the computer doing the actual code. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the code and put it into the micro bit and build ourselves a name tag. Yep. So we know that there's a bunch of different editors for the micro bit. Uh, and we have chosen the code, the microbit.com editor. Mm -hmm. Why have we done that, Nels? Uh, well, this editor is a very nice uh, block uh, coding editor, so it's very easy to use. And uh, if you compare this one to the one that's on the microbit's own official web page, uh, codethemicrobit.com has a bit more blocks, which is nice. And it also has a button uh, where you can switch between block editing and JavaScript editing. So you can see the same program in JavaScript and then go back to block editing and so again. So that's a very nice feature. So if we take a look into the browser and how this editor environment looks, mm -hmm. to the right we have this uh, getting started environment. What, what's all that about? Yeah, so on the right side of the screen, that's where it shows extra information, help information. And this information can change depending on what you have selected in your browser. And then this middle field, the big white field with the blue blocks inside of them, these blocks, they actually appear here at the start when you start the editor uh, as some kind of starting page. Yeah. Uh, and these blocks are not the blocks that we are looking for. We need to get rid of those. And down in the right-hand corner, there's a small um, trash, trash can. Yeah. yeah, trash can. So let's just sort of throw that away. Uh, but this middle white field, that's where we're going to put the code. Yeah, exactly. So that's the place where you drag all your blocks and put them together to build the program you're trying to make. And the blocks uh, that we are uh, going to build from, we can find them in uh, this column of uh, categories mm -hmm. uh, where we, if I click on the basic blocks in that category, and then we have a bunch of different ones. Yeah, so there are a lot of different categories you can go through uh, to find all kinds of blocks you can use and functionalities that exist. Mm -hmm. And then to the left of the uh, block list, we have a simulator. Mm -hmm. yeah, so there you will find an a simulator which, when you're change something in your program, the simulator starts over, and it will show the program as you have it right now. So you can immediately test your program, see if you get the right kind of output. So for example, if you try to show something on the display, you will see it on the display in the simulator, and you can check, OK, is it working correctly? And it's a, it's a quite advanced simulator, uh, where if you, for example, pull in accelerometer, you can actually move the micro bit, like shake it a bit, in your editor uh, directly. So. So it's a powerful editor with a nice simulator. And I guess we want to get started and code a bit. Uh, yeah. And for this basic name tag project, we're going to just use basic code. Yeah. So the block in the basic category that pops to mind for me is the show string command. Yes, exactly. That's the block that will display a text on your little screen on your micro bit. So now I see the simulator when I put out the show string, it, it, it runs the string that is inside here, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a name tag, so I guess I need to change the hello. To your name. Uh, to my name. And there we have that. So now we see my name running. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it stops. Yeah, exactly. So we have a little problem here. It only shows your name one time. but. In this case, we want the name badge uh, to show your name all the time. So we need another block here. And if I go back to the basic blocks, I see a loop here that's called forever loop. Mm -hmm. Sounds a bit yeah. like the thing we need. Exactly. So in this case, the forever loop is a loop that goes on forever. So everything that's on the inside of this loop will go on and on and on again. So we put your show string inside this loop, and it will show your name forever. And it shows up in the simulator as well, mm -hmm. just as you described now. So now we have the name tag in our virtual environment inside of the editor. But mm -hmm. I want it on the micro bit on me. Mm -hmm. So um, I would need to get this code out of this environment. Yeah. So let's press the download button. There's a big blue button on the left side. And what happens now is that 
your code is being compiled into a file, and this file we want to get onto the microbit itself. So I see that it has been downloaded down here, and depending on what computer you have, the file will end up in a bit different places, usually in the sort of place where downloads would be found in yeah. your computer. So I can see this microbit hex file mm -hmm. here, but I need to put it somewhere. Onto the microbit, and this is where we use the USB cable. So you plug in the USB cable to your microbit and to your computer. And, and the moment you do so, your computer will think that it has received some kind of a USB stick or similar. Uh, so now I see that it pops up as a unit uh, in my computer. And I uh, basically drag and drop the file. Exactly. So I drag it down onto the microbit. And now when the file is being transferred to the microbit, we see the yellow light on the back flashing. And when the flashing is done, that means the copying is done and your program is running. So there we have the name tag. Yep. Trouble is, it's bound to my computer because it needs power through the cable. Exactly. So we would need a battery solution, I guess, instead. Yeah. So here on the table, we have two different options we could go for. And the first one is a uh, battery pack with AAA batteries, uh, which you can plug into the back of your microbit right there. But in this case, we choose to go for a different option, which is this little accessory that you can buy. And in here is a, a flat 3-volt uh, battery, which we will screw together with your microbit to become this little package. And uh, important to note here is that uh, when you purchase this, you also get the screws, uh, so you can get the whole thing together. And in order to save a bit of time, uh, we have assembled a piece here. Mm -hmm. And on this battery part, there is an on-off button. Mm -hmm. So if I switch that button on, we should get some power, and we see the name tag display my name. Another fun thing with this accessory is that it has a bunch of holes on the back which makes it possible to uh, attach, for example, a string or something else in order to put this uh, onto things. And to save a bit of more time, we have assembled this uh, with a string. So if we start it and I try to put it on, we have suddenly produced a name tag uh, with our own running code uh, as a wearable. <laughs>